fun. Keeper's Dome. Hey, it's the new. My hey, new. Strange construct. Please do not disturb my slumber. He's a construct. So are they all constructs? I think just that one. Hmm. Uh, okay, coming up here is a waste of time. I wonder if he attacks you if you keep disturbing his slumber. No, he does not. We need him in a minute. Pendant begins to glow. Hmm? You who have opened the door. I am Balthazar, the guru of reason. Mm -hmm. And formerly of the kingdom of zeal. I was cast into this era by a great disaster which befell our land. Much to my surprise, I have learned that the creature Lavos was not a product of our age. Far from it. It seems that the being fell from the sky in a bygone age, burrowing deep in the planet's core. There he began to feed upon its energy, growing ever stronger. I thought you said that guy in that other town was the guru of reason. What's his name? Melchior. Yeah, you're right. My bad. Melchior is the guru of... One of the other ones. Not time, because that's uh, Gaspar, who's at the end of time. Time, reason, and uh, knowledge, or I don't know. I can't remember. Level's form was revealed briefly when he was summoned forth by a mighty wizard by the name of Magus in the year 600. In the year 1999, Lavos emerged to claim the surface. Now he has taken the place I've named Death Peak as his throne, or Nest. As it may well be, his miniature spawn now flow from the mountaintop, oh, an avalanche of death. Lavos is a parasite, a parasite of gargantuan proportions, whose host is the planet itself. Great. Almost sounds like a plot to FF7, huh. which came very shortly after this game. Um, uh, maybe a little. Trapped here, I endeavor to continue my study and observation of Lavos, but I believe the end draws near. Maintaining one's sanity is an endeavor in and of itself in an age such as this, an endeavor I fear may be futile. So before my eye is lost forever, I've decided to leave these records of my knowledge behind, along with my greatest invention, which you never used for reasons beyond reason. Ever did I long to return home and toil endlessly in search of a way, but as I neared the completion of my research, so did I near the end of my day. Oh, that's why he died first. Mm -hmm. I've grown old and frail, and so I leave it in your hands, you who have opened the way. Take hold the reins of time, and let all the people on this planet's past and future join as one. Then, only then, you just may be able to stop Lavos. You have little cool. chance of success, but even a little chance is still a chance. You have opened the door, the fate of the world is in your hands. Open now the final door, and claim what awaits you, my last and greatest work, the wings of time. What if I'm no great warrior? What if I just stumbled in here <laughs> by, by accident? <laughs> but we are great warriors. <laughs> the epic. Mm -hmm. This must be Belthazar's invention. This must be the invention mentioned in his recordings. The Wings of Time. Which lack their wings. What? You guys are like sciencey types. Do your thing, Luca. Go get a ray. I think we have to go talk to the new. There we go. Man, you what a coincidence! For this? It's a three-seater. Mm -hmm. Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthazar. Cut my memory into this thing. What do you think? Precious, isn't he? Huh? Anyway, there's something I need to explain, namely, how to transcend time. Press the Y button to display the time gauge, then use the L button and R button to select an arrow. Ah, yes. Uh, wake up. Before you go, why don't you give them a name <laughs> to my time machine? The epic will do. <laughs> well then, hop aboard! That, uh... <laughs> Let's go, everybody. Like in the intro to my uh, video from my very first trailer. Mumble, mumble. Take off! <laughs> it's 
me, Balthasar. You're still a prisoner. <laughs> oh, we could travel back to the day of Lavos. 1000 AD, present. 600 AD, Middle Ages. 12,000 BC, Antiquity. 65 million BC, Prehistory. Um, we're supposed to go here. And that will kick off the next bit of plot. Let's do it! Alright. <clears throat> Screw you, um, mysterious prophet. Give me the movie. Yeah! Nice. Go, Goku. A chrono. <laughs> I just magically know how to work this thing. Because I do, okay? I forget where we end up, though, when we transport this way. Liberal energy readings. As if the total mental energy of all humans who ever lived were being amplified. Mental mm -hmm. energy? What? Interventional travel at warp speed. Warp speed. Warp speed. The epic is, epic is capable of this? Right outside the uh, place where we got locked out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when last we left, she wanted us to save the Guru of Reason. Mm-hmm. I think so. Oh, look, the thing is down now. Yep. Mm hmm So let's do it. Oh, look, an Earthbound one. We Earthbound ones were banished from zeal because we are possessed of no magical talents. And there are a bunch of douchebags. Yes. Queen has installed a mammoth machine in the Ocean Palace in an attempt to absorb Lavos' energy. Is there no peril in such a thing? The Guru of Life, yes, said as much. But it only led her to imprison him upon the Mountain of Woe. I fear there's little we can do. That's what, uh... Mm. Melchior is. Guru of Life. Ah. Guru of Life said that young Lord Janus was his power within him exceeding even that of Lady Shala. But then the queen lost her mind, and the young lord grew to hate that power and all the suffering it caused Lady Shala. Now he hides it, denies it, and shuts it from his thoughts. Until he had need of it. Mm -hmm. Is there a door up here I missed? Yes. Can I interest you in some goods? Yes. Ah! Okay, that's the sword. But we don't need it. Oh my lord, she only has a 36 attack? Yeah. I must have missed getting her stuff a <laughs> lot. Get the comic bow. It's something. How about the Mega Blaster? Same deal. How? Okay, how do these poor slaves have all this awesome stuff? 15k? That's what I want to know. 18k? Sorry, Glenn, you'll just have to use the friggin' Massimute a little longer. I mean, it's not like a sword of legend anyway. But yet these poor slaves... Yeah. ...have awesome, awesome stuff. I don't understand. Am I not meant to understand? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> don't question it. <laughs> but he drained us dry. Many inhabitants of the land were taken to build the Ocean Palace, and none were ever seen again. Wow. Yeah. The queen is a batch. Yeah. A queen batch. If wah, you will. Wah, wah. The queen bee. <laughs> Will Lady Shwawa come and play with us again? Oh god, that did not need to be put in that way. Shwawa. Three gurus and Lady Shala are near the only ones who do not treat us as inferior. It's because they are wise. Mm -hmm. The mud beast den is dangerous. You shouldn't play Woundale. <sighs> God, that's dumb. Don't do that. Oh, look, and then in. <laughs> Times passed, the enlightened ones and we earthbound ones lived as one. So I dress it? Sure. 
It only cost you 10,000 million gold. <laughs> because you were rich aliens from the future. It's Especially you, that robot. That... Alright. Safe point. Tunnel connects to a mud beast den, and beyond the mouth of the den lies the great chain that anchors the mountain of woe to the earth. Mm -hmm. Rude of life voiced opposition to the Queen's plan, so he was banished to the mountain of woe. Right, we're gonna save here. <laughs> As we cut the chain somehow, and it's like, whoa! That happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But not in the direction you want, you think. I know it uh, makes them crash down, I'm pretty sure. Strength count. But it, it makes you think that it's anchored there like, you know, it's a balloon, so if yeah. you cut it, it's just like, whoa, Mud beast. the sky. Mud Beast Island Pansy, which is your new name. <laughs> Attack increased. Other big boys. So they uh, are. Let's try the laser spin. He's a giant disco ball. Yes, he is. I just realized that just now. <laughs> How about fire sword? Hell yes, whoa. <laughs> Disco spin. Night Sweet. fever, night fever. <laughs> uh, more mud beasts. Punch you in the face. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> you know, nice. every time you use that move, I'm going to whip out a disco song, I right? Know. Okay, just so long as you're aware. I'm going to protect. Hey, everybody. This is Corona Joel. I'd just like to thank you guys for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe link, I got it right above me. And uh, also hit some of those like buttons down there in that bottom corner. That would be great. Also, if you really like what you're watching and like to see more, we've got the next part of the video that's directly over here. And over in this direction somewhere is some other of my work that uh, I think you might enjoy. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.